Hi everyone, this is Teacher Kanan, and today we're going to have a video log. So this is our first time to have a video log like this. A few days ago, we attended the Macmillan Education Workshop uh, somewhere here in Bangkok, and it was led by teacher trainer Miss Anna Hasper. Teacher Jonah attended, and I attended too, representing the English crew. So what did we talk about? We talked about the implementation of reading programs in schools. So one of the most challenging skill to develop is reading. As you know, our brains, like, like what we talk about in the, in the seminar, we discussed about the development of the human brain. And through the years, uh, based on human evolution, we did not learn how to read immediately what we learn is we first listen to each other like the sound of nature and of course we were able to develop speaking by doing some sounds on our own on our own abilities right and one of the most challenging part of reading is when english is not your first language so i understand that you will say teacher kanan I'm Thai, I'm from Saudi Arabia, I'm Japanese, I'm Chinese. We were inspired to create this video to let you know why we read and uh, to give you some tips or advice on how to read and read faster. So why should we read? Why do we read? Reading sharpens your mind. If uh, English is your second language, you will not be able to recognize the words. So it's very important for you to, to at least uh, recognize the words that you see. If you feel that you're not yet ready, uh, be sure to be familiar with the words. Because as you read, you will probably think that you read word per word. But in reality, your, your brain connects the words that you see on paper and you connect those words through context. When you say context, it's like how you interpret things. It's how you interpret the words that you see on paper and how they are connected. We also have a saying that goes, today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Uh, reading develops critical thinking. So as you read, uh, your brain starts to question things and sometimes you have those aha, uh -huh, what if moments like you come up with your own uh, conclusion or own ending or maybe an alternate ending of the book or of the story that you read and of course it makes you happy whenever you read stories you have this special access to a world where the only limit is your imagination. So you're, you don't need to depend on the imagination of, of famous directors, on how they interpret Star Wars or Lord of the Rings. What are the tips or advice that we can give you in order for you to love reading? First, you need to learn to warm up. If you know that your English is not that good, you need to know or memorize more vocabulary words every day. Keep a journal or your own flashcard where you can memorize the words and be familiar with the common words that you see in books. You can also develop your own checklist, like a vocabulary checklist. You need to read simple stories first. I think it's Steven Pinker who said that uh, people hate reading uh, articles or stories that make them that make them feel stupid. Next is don't read aloud focusing on pronunciation. Uh, an example will be once upon a time there's this guy who read aloud to focus on his narration voice and later on he realized that he could not understand a thing that he's reading. So that's an example of reading aloud focusing on pronunciation. Of course when you emphasize the words that you're reading, uh, the tendencies for your mind to drift and not focus on the words that you're reading. So you'll end up not understanding what you read. For you to be able to read faster, you can move your eyes diagonally like uh, this direction. 
So the shortest possible path to get to the next line, that will be the best option. When we read, actually our eyes are not moving. Oh, that makes me wonder. When I'm reading on my mobile device, I have a tendency to read faster. So that could be the reason. It's another subject of research for you. And the last thing is practice, practice, practice. Of course, like any other skill, the most important thing is to practice. If you don't practice, your eyes will not be oriented to those words. And also when you read, uh, they also say that you can read two words at once. So for example, when you see the word move on, so move on, moving on or something like that. Your, your, your eyes can, your brain can recognize the two words at once. So the more words that you can recognize or register in your mind, the faster you'll be able to read. The most important thing for you is to comprehend or understand what you're reading. If you just read and if you don't understand the words and you don't look it up in the dictionary, it will be harder for you to, to catch up. That concludes our video. I hope uh, this video has been helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel and you can also visit our website at www.thenglishtrue.com. So see you in the next video.